Excuse me. Do you speak any English? Yes. Uh, what is the name of this town? This town? Yeah. The name is Hodmezewasha. <laughs> Hey there, how's it going? This is Mako in southern Hungary, about 30 minutes away from the city of Szeged, where I took the uh, train to yesterday. One of the reasons that I stopped in Szeged was to meet up with somebody that uh, many of you will recognize. Nick Fisher otherwise known as Indigo Traveler, lives in Hungary. And uh, we'd been wanting to meet up for years, been following each other's adventures, and it worked out perfectly for my plans to head into Romania next from here. The reason that I came to Mako here is because I searched online for thermal spas in Hungary and found one here that looks really amazing and also conveniently located for my plans to head into Romania, which is literally like a walk away. The border is uh, a few kilometers from here. So I will uh, be heading to Romania in a couple of days, most likely. Now, filming in a thermal spa, hot spring, it's like a big, beautiful building with multiple pools. It looks uh, really, really cool. But chances are I'm not going to be wanting to, you know, walk around in there with a camera. I'm not sure if it's like clothing optional or not, but uh, either way, probably not gonna happen. And so I have no idea what this video is going to be. This is a really, really pleasant looking town. I guess there is more of a central town center somewhere, which I am heading towards. But uh, there is somewhere that I really want to see about 30 minutes away from here, if I can figure out how to get there. Okay, we have uh, something that says Sauna. Not sure if that means sauna. Could be. Interesting looking building. What is this? Kelemen Haz. Oh, a restaurant, I guess. Some good looking food. I am really hungry. Hungry in Hungary. Let's uh, stop here. Okay, was thinking about stopping there for lunch, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I want to get something quicker. I guess this is a market. Let's uh, see if I can grab a couple snacks. So there's an interesting looking building. Can't quite tell what that is. Looks like it's under construction or renovations. So, got a bag of goodies here. Twelve dollars, I'll show what I got later. I am walking in the direction of the Meko Autobush Alomash. I think that that means bus station, but I'm not exactly sure. We shall find out soon enough. So, we have a good sign. 
that is where I'm hoping to go today. But how in the world do you say it? And how am I going to find the bus there when it's hopeless for me to try to pronounce that? So a little detour here, but uh, this is a cool looking street. Pedestrian zone with a very unusual looking building there. What in the world is that? Not seeing a cross on the top? So this is a very bicycle friendly town by the looks of it. Lots of people. It's great to see like older people all riding bikes. It just makes so much sense especially to get around a small, peaceful town. So what the heck is that? Definitely one of the most unusual looking buildings I've ever seen. Oh. Is this a movie theater? Apparently. Freaking cool. Here we go, July 28th to 29th. I guess some sort of a festival, weekend uh, event. Movies or music or something else. Oh, Dolby 3D. So, uh, some sort of a kind of fancy theater in there, I guess. That's awesome. Some good looking events here. Beerlach Meko. And another absolutely bizarre looking building. I wonder if this is the other side of that other building that I saw that was under construction. It looks kind of similar maybe. And it looks like this is an area where events happen. Obviously like Saturday market or something. Today is a Friday. Maybe Sunday market, who knows. But uh, obviously like food stalls. Yeah, here we have uh, pizza, lemonade, oh that looks good. Right on, right on. There is kind of a lot happening in Mako. Not a lot of people around, but uh, there must be at certain times. Going to make a very quick stop here at the Golden Speared Drinking Fountains. I wasn't sure what this was at first. I just saw the golden balls and then drinking fountains for people of various sizes. How cool. But uh, I am thirsty, so I'll show you one thing that I got in here. No big surprise. Big thing of milk. Let's try this stuff out. How is the milk in Mako Hungry? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, this is looking good. Definitely a bus station. And seeing that road sign with the town mentioned on it was promising because I wasn't sure how, you know, big of a town it was going to be as far as likelihood of buses going in that direction. So that seems to be some good news, but uh, let's check in here. Yes, uh, I don't know. Yes. Uh. Boom. This is it. Ticket on the bus. Yes, hello. Uh, the name is very long. Yeah. This bus is going... Bashare. This, this one, yes. One. And here we go. It 
was ready to leave right then. Yeah, I'm so lucky. And here's another cool thing, is that I had some Hungarian coins in my uh, little uh, change pouch, and I just presented it to him and said, take whatever, and this is what I have left. This is worth absolutely nothing. So in other words, I had exactly the right amount, whatever that was, I mean, it was maybe, a dollar fifty or something like that. I had a couple like two hundred foreign coins, like between a dollar and two dollars for this uh, bus ride, but just enough. And we're going there right on. And as for why I'm going there, only because of the name and because it was close. I was looking on a map yesterday and saw that name and was like, what the heck? How do you pronounce that? They've got to go there and see what it's like. I looked at some images. Just looks like a normal Hungarian town, so we're gonna find out what it's like in however you pronounce that. 28 minutes away, we'll see how long the bus takes. And it is now time to munch. I am hungry. All right, here's what I got coconut cookies. Like, maybe bacon and cheese bread thing. Three yogurts, two strawberry, one blueberry. Cheese. I have crackers already in the uh, backpack. And salami. All for 12 bucks. All right, the yogurts were good. Let's see about this thing. Tastes exactly like a looks. Bread with a little cheese and yeah, I think that's a strip of bacon. It's alright. It fills the void. Here's the crackers. Salami is smelling really good. Cheese. I don't know if food and drinks are allowed on this bus, but I'm a good example of why they probably shouldn't be. Alright, that is looking pretty tasty. Mm. Oh man. That's great. We are there, wherever we are. And here are some of the nearby towns. Hanto, Vachu Talomas. Those are easy by comparison. So there is a train station here. I'll check there, see about trains going back to Meko. Mission accomplished, we have arrived at, however you say that. Another very pleasant Hungarian town on a gorgeous, perfect, sunny summer's day. Warm, but not too hot. Let's head over to the train station. Some good looking food here. Some kind of pasta, Finom Falatok, Vendeglo Restaurant. That looks really interesting there. Hajish Izek. Looks like fish and chips. So this train is coming from Vasu Talomas. 
And there you can see again the name of the city, which I just don't even want to attempt. Even after hearing it twice, I have no idea. And so here's a little Hungarian. Are there any trains going to Mako? Even hearing that play back, Menek Vonatok Makora. That's the general idea, but you know, the real pronunciation is still different. Let's see if they speak any English. And here's how you say bus. 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 Good news, they have a machine. Let's give this a try first. I've used them before and it's pretty easy. If there are trains, they might go to Zheged first. Two hours, four hours, four hours, ten hours. Okay, not going to be taking the train. Lots and lots of bikes. That's great. So, now the plan is to head straight to the bus station and find out the times a bus is going back to Mako. I don't know, maybe they go every 30 minutes? Maybe every two hours? Maybe twice a day? So it would be good to just have an uh, idea and then look around a little more. Looks like this is not going to be the most exciting city tour you have ever seen, but it is the real Hungary. And it is very nice to see the real local life beyond Budapest and uh, the other more popular places to see in Hungary. It is definitely, you know, typical life here. It's not that different from the town where I grew up. 5,000 people, Willits, California. There are parks in my town that look exactly like this, with these kind of trees. Maybe not the exact same ones, but uh, very similar looking. And watermelons were definitely consumed in the summertime. Big uh, supermarket there. So that is the bus station where I got off the bus and it continued this way. So the bus station must be this way. You gotta watch out for the bike lanes here in Hungary because there are lots of bikes. It can be a little tricky to figure out until you see a bicyclist come along. There are symbols indicating, but as you can see, not necessarily all that frequently. Here we go. Excuse me. Do you speak any English? Yes. Uh, what is the name of this town? This town? Yeah. The name is Woldmanzivasha. <laughs> I can... I've been trying to figure out I can how to you pronounce it. Oh, I can see it on my map. Just the, the pronouncing of it was... Okay, cool. I mean, I can't even try to say that, so... Okay. Thank you, man. Is, is the bus station up this way to the left? I saw a bus. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. If you go down there... Perfect. Thank you, man. Have a nice day. Is this a synagogue? That looks like Hebrew. Wow, so... If that is the case... Whoa. 1914 to 1918. World War I. 1733 to 1918. Is this 
abandoned because all the Jews left town. But it is referencing World War I, not World War II. But there is obviously some serious and perhaps dark history involved in that. Okay, so the uh, bus station should be up ahead here somewhere. This might just be a matter of get to the bus station and catch the next bus if there's one going anytime soon. Just saw a bus go this way. If that's a taxi, that's good to know that they're around. I might have to make use of one. Maybe that bus was leaving town and not going to the bus station. Huh. Excuse me. Bus? Straight? Yeah. Thank you. All right. This is it. Let's hope there's a bus going in 45 minutes so I can have a little more time to walk around. But if it's leaving right away, probably hop on it. But doesn't look like there's a lot of buses waiting to leave right away. We're back at the uh, synagogue. Mako? 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 Okay, yes, okay. great. Uh, one ticket or? Uh, on the both, both, yes, okay, thank you. Perfect. One leaving in about 45 minutes. He wrote down 425, it is 341. All right, let's cruise around. So, before I catch that bus, I have a little bit of a conundrum to resolve. This is the conundrum. So, when I was at the supermarket where I bought the food, I had this, and then I had a 2,000 foreign note, and two 1,000 foreign notes, and change, coins. The bill for the food was, I think, 4,072 foreign. And so I pulled out my money, and then she was pointing at the two and the one and the one. And then I tried to give her this because I wanted small change, but she didn't like that. And she pointed at the 4,000, the two and the one and the one, and then I had the change. And so she took that, and then I had that change left over. And as I showed, after I got on the bus, I then had a 10 foreign coin. 10 foreign is worth one third of a penny. So that is nothing. And then I am left with a 10,000 foreign note, which is worth 26 euros or 28.50 US dollars. So it is like a hundred dollar bill. And I have a bus to catch and I'm going to have to pay the driver on the bus. So I need to break this thing because I cannot expect a bus driver to accept this when the bill is going to be a dollar fifty or whatever. Ay, 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 ay. And boom. So I just walked past that, uh, I guess, secondhand clothing store and saw a lady sitting at a desk there. Obviously, the, you know, cashier. And so I thought, well, let's start by trying here. And it works. So now I can just 
enjoy my time here in this town, however the heck you say it. Let's see if the phone booths work. Ooh, there are numbers on there. We got a dial tone. That says something. When the payphones work, you're not in a lot of countries where they don't. In London, they're just a tourist attraction at this point. Just found my old bus ticket from the right here. 650 forint. That is exactly $2, so apparently I had 660 forint in my change pouch. Because otherwise, I would have been stuck with the 10,000. That's all that I had after buying the food at the market. So, uh, that was just ridiculously, ridiculously lucky there. So this is a different one, and much more apparent. Synagogue. Hebrew. Tons of Stars of David. It's like a fun place to spend the night all by yourself. And what is this? No cross on the top. But partway up, those do appear to be crosses. But, are those crosses? Not really. I cannot tell what those are. They might be little statues of people. Any other clear indication of what this is? 1910. Not sure about this one. Okay, this is what I'm seeing further up. It is not any kind of a being, it's just kind of a strange, bulbous, three-dimensional cross-like symbol. What do we have here? Dove the stained glass. Looks like a crown, perhaps? But no stars of David, no crosses. Huh. Well, I think that is going to do it for the tour. Might as well head back, get a seat on the bus, get back to Mako. This was one of the coolest travel days ever, just for all the randomness. So uh, I have one more day in Mako tomorrow, probably do a relaxing hot springs day. We'll see, maybe record something walking around the town there, but uh, otherwise, next stop, Romania. Goodbye!